Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to show you the best ARPS recording settings in 2021. This video is for all PCS, so it doesn't matter if you have low-end PC or high-end PC. So let's get started. First of all, make sure that you have the latest version of ARPS Studio installed on your Windows PC. Now, I will show you some methods to improve ARPS performance while you record gameplay all while streaming. First, type game mode and search in open game mode settings. Make sure that game mode is turned on. The next method I am going to show you will not only improve performance it will also fix black screen issues. So first right click on abs icon and click on properties. Then go to compatibility tab and below that you will see an option saying run program as administrator. Enable the option and press apply. Next, go to the location where IBS is installed. It will usually be in disk C. After that, search for graphics settings. And open the first option. Here you need to choose IBS application from the location where IBS is installed. Then click on OBS and click on Options. And choose High Performance and press Save. That's it for the performance optimization. Now let's get started with the best OBS settings. So first open OBS. And then click on Settings. In General Settings, these are your personal preferences. You can change themes, languages, and other related stuffs here. Next you need to click on the output tab. This is the main part of the settings. Then click on recording. Then change output mode from simple to advanced. In recording path, you can choose the place where the recording will be saved. And in recording format you can choose mp4 or MOOF. I use mp4. You can use MOOF for smaller file size. In audio track, you can choose one or two. It depends upon how many audio tracks you'll use. Next, in encoder, you can choose NVIDIA or AMD H.264. If you stream or you want to achieve more FPS in games as these will use less CPU while you are streaming or recording. But I prefer X264 because it's the best for recording. Next, on rate control choose CBR. That's the best for recording. After that for the bitrate, you can see different bit rates on the screen. You can choose the bitrate according to your system specifications. As I have a LAN NPC, rates from 4500 to 5500 are the best for me. On CPU usage preset, choose super fast. And in profile, choose high in tune, choose zero latency. In tune, choose zero latency. After that, Go to the link in the description and copy the first code. After copying the code, paste the code on X264 options and add a space after the code. After that go back to the link and copy the second code. Here you will see two codes you can choose one of them according to your need. I prefer performance. If you have a low end PC and paste the second code. After the first code, remember to add a space in between the codes. That go to the audio tab and set the sample rate to 44.1 kHz. And then go to the video tab. Here set the base canvas to the maximum resolution available in the options. And then in output, choose the resolution in which you want to record your video. You can choose 1080p or 720p. I use 1920x1080. As I want to record videos in 1080p, and in downscale output choose Lexus. And in FPS choose 60 FPS if you have an average PC, and if you have low end PC I prefer use 30 FPS. And in advanced tab, set process priority as high. And set renderer as direct third 11. And after the settings are applied restart ups.
Thanks for watching this video.